Hi guys, I am Minute from Minute Science. Today's video is about the most dangerous bomb. You guessed it right, it's hydrogen bomb. The bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki exploded with the yield of 15 kilotons and 20 kilotons of TNT, respectively, while the first hydrogen bomb test released energy approximately equal to 10 million tons of TNT. That is a lot of energy, sufficient enough to wipe out an entire city like Tokyo. Tsar Bomber, the largest bomb ever tested, was a hydrogen bomb that caused severe destruction within a roughly 100 kilometers radius. In comparison, the nuclear bomb dropped on Nagasaki caused destruction within a radius of only 8 kilometers. Now let's see how a hydrogen bomb works. A hydrogen bomb itself consists of a small nuclear bomb. When the primary detonator initiates an explosion inside the shell, the temperature reaches to several 100 million Kelvin. Due to this temperature and X-rays that are radiated, the hydrogen atoms start fusing, releasing a huge amount of energy. In hydrogen bomb, isotopes of hydrogen are used like deuterium and tritium, and not hydrogen. Deuterium is present in seawater in large amount, also, these isotopes are not radioactive hence are environment friendly a bomb that is capable of wiping out an entire city is environment friendly isn't it good for environment did you know which country has the most dangerous hydrogen bomb yes it's russia that is it for today hope you all like the video and find it informative subscribe for more minutes of science thanks for watching